Look what I found on Forbes. Visa applies for digital dollar blockchain patent. The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office published today that Visa has filed a patent application to create digital currency on a centralized computer using blockchain technology. This patent applies to digital dollars as well as other central bank digital currencies such as pounds, yen, euros, and so the physical currency of a central bank anywhere in the world could be digitized. Described as digital fiat currency, the patent was initially filed by Visa on November 8, 2019 with the USPTO commenting today, quote, it takes a while, it takes quite a while to publish the filing of a patent. Visa's patent is described as a central entity computer that receives requests that include the serial number and denomination of a physical currency. The creation of the digital currency and the removal of the physical currency from circulation in the fiat currency system is recorded on a blockchain. This is exactly where they're wanting to go, obviously, in their new world order. Anyways, Visa has a vast global team of, of inventors and innovators working on cutting-edge payment technologies. Each year, we seek patents for hundreds of new ideas, says a Visa spokesperson. While not all patents will result in new products or features, Visa respects intellectual property. Sorry, his tablet is all messy. We are actively working to protect our ecosystem, our innovations, and the Visa brand. J. Christopher Giancarlo, senior counsel at Wilkie Farr and Gallagher and former chairman of the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission, commented on Visa's patent filed with USPTO. Quote, this confirms when the U.S. does big things like the space program and the Internet. There are partnerships between the private and public sector. This patent filing is evidence the private sector is very much at work on the future of money. Unquote. Giancarlo has been very active at the virtual consensus distributed conference this week hosted by Coindesk. Congress considered the idea of a digital dollar when debating the CARES Act, the third COVID-19 relief package. This is the plan they had all along, you know. The COVID-19, COVID-19 PSYOP scam. Uh, the New World Order's closer and closer and closer and closer. Although the digital dollar was not included in the final legislation, separate bills have been introduced in both the House and the Senate that looks to legally create a digital dollar at the Federal Reserve and also a digital dollar wallet at the U.S. Treasury. The digital dollar was suggested to provide economic stimulus benefits and possibly... Universal Basic Income to Americans The full abstract of the patent filed by Visa is described as, quote, techniques are disclosed, which include receiving by a central entity computer a request for digital currency. The request includes a serial number and a denomination of a physical currency. The central entity computer generates the digital currency for the denomination and linked to the serial number. Unquote. Visa's patent goes on to state, quote, the generating, it, the generating includes recording the digital currency on a blockchain. A central entity computer transmits a notification of the generation of the digital currency. The central entity computer causes removal of the physical currency from circulation in a fiat currency system, unquote. An image of the patent filing is listed below. So we'll get a little bit closer into here. Yep. Can you read that? The patent lists the applicant as the Visa International Service Association in San Francisco, California, and notes the inventors as Simon J. Hurry and Alexander Peer. The patent further describes the workings of a digital wallet and a blockchain. 
The digital wallet includes a public and private key pair, while the blockchain is described as including a, quote, plurality of blocks with at least one block of the plurality of blocks storing data for a plurality of transactions, including a first record indicating that the digital currency for an amount associated with the denomination has been created, as well as a public key associated with a digital wallet. The second record in the blockchain describes, quote, recording the removal of the physical currency from circulation, a schematic including the front end, middleware, and back end of the invention below. Now take a look at this. Okay, you see this? Okay. This is a... Uh, diagram. I want you to take a look at this. It's a Freemasonic square and compass. Now we know that, um, notice it says architect. <laughs> Supreme uh, Grand Architect of the Universe. Well, we know that the um, Freemasons have been one of the main organizations behind the New World Order. No idea is more engrossing today than that of a New World Order. This is by the uh, the Dr. J. G. Brown, GM British Columbia, Grandmaster, delivered at Western Canadian Conference, 1943. So we know they're the people behind it. Look how they love the Macas. It's like that Vice President of Border Security, Art Del Cueto, sporting his Masonic necklace. They're just loving it. They're loving how only a few people see it. Most people do not. It's, uh... More secret societies and psychological warfare. It's a good book, by the way. It's Revelation of the Method. It's coined by Michael Hoffman. Thanks to No More News and Face Like the Sun, who showed this. And I needed to uh, do a video myself on it. Now. Have you read the rest of that? I've already read it. So, this guy, yeah, isn't that something? Freemasons coming out, bragging. But again, this New World Order, you know, we all know is a reality. We know all the secret societies have called for it. This is from... The American Baptist Publication Society, <laughs> New World Order, Samuel Zane Batten. No, maybe something to do on a rainy day. Sorry. Give me a minute. I thought I had it, but I guess I don't. Set these aside. I had to go through all. Here's one that I found on the CIA's own website.
February 1st, 2000. Now you can read it. Yeah, talks all about, maybe I ought to get into that with my next video. Here's our favorite secret society, the Rolls Cross. Manifesto. We know that uh, let's just go to where they call for a new world order. In a wider sense, we hope that one day there will be a worldwide government representing all nations in which today's United Nations is just the beginning. Right out of the horse's mouth. And you have the back of here. A world government composed of all the leaders of all nations working in the interests of humanity has come into existence in a universal religion. So those are fa our favorite friends. Yeah. And I believe I got to grab the other one. Hang on. There we go. The new age, where there's a new interpretation and application of the old laws. No longer is it possible for man to place the responsibility for his evil actions upon his fellow man, nor upon a world savior. He alone is guilty, and he alone must pay the penalty imposed upon his soul. This is the age of a new world order, the establishment of brotherhood, and the elimination of all retarding forces. The new age is upon us. Either we harmonize with it and its laws, or we shall be destroyed by it. Ours is the choice. Rolls cross order. Unsealing a book, the reunion of science and religion. Esoteric Judaism, Christianity, and Masonry converge. Okay. So we know the secret societies have called for a new world order. It is not a conspiracy theory. The purpose of my videos is to prove it. And it's not just the Jews, and it's not only the Jews. It is the uh, secret societies this is one from the Golden Dawn magazine And I want to find where there we go. The next issue of the Golden Dawn magazine will contain news of the future activities of the Brotherhood of the Path. That's what that means. 
And there are special reasons why we should, like all who are interested in giving practical help towards the building of the New World Order, to know of these activities. So they admit in a publication, which is the Golden Dawn, a secret society, mystical, new age, cult magazine, it's the sun, the triangle, that these groups are helping towards the building of the New World Order. It's clear. No conspiracy theory. And this was issued December 1940. So, for the people who keep focusing too much on just the Jews and not the secret societies and, le and leaving stuff out, I don't mean anything. It's good to cover. So it is good to cover that stuff. It's important, but it's also important to cover these groups, too. So, anyways, that's you don't see the Star of David on that diagram of that digital currency, do you? No, you see the Masonic Square and Compass. This is how they do it. They love to mock. It's their psychological warfare. Anyways, wanted to share that. Take care.